I'm looking for the Asian, Asian citrus psyllid. This is a good subject tree. It isn't treated with any sprays like insecticides or anything. This block has been let go and they're not farming it anymore. It still stands and it's producing these flowers and fruits. These soft leaves are perfect harbor for the psyllids, both the adults and the nymphs. They'll lay their eggs in these little spaces in the soft leaves and they can just explode exponentially as far as population goes. And the fear is, what, what are they doing to the fruit? What are they doing to the fruit trees and the fruit? Well, if they, for one thing, will deform the new leaves. See, these deformations are caused by psyllids, this notching and curling. So they compromise the uh, photosynthesis of these new leaves. But also with that bacteria they carry, it'll just go systemic on this tree, which it already has. I mean, yeah. I see greening symptoms throughout the tree. And you said that they changed the flavor of the orange, right? Is that, uh, it's a, a bad, a really bad tree will produce foul tasting fruit and it won't be marketable. People will not want to consume it. And they also kill the tree eventually, is that the... it, it will, unless great measures are taken to support this tree nutritionally. It, it's going to collapse. And I mean, you can see the canopy is already really compromised. And it's to the resilience of an orange tree how they can withstand this. They're pretty tough, but they're under assault. And there's nothing that, can, uh, that, that, that has been found yet to combat them, right? Right now, there is no cure for the greening. And they come from China, you said, or they came from It overseas? comes from Asia. Asia. And because we're such an open door country, I mean, we get things from all over the world. People come in, products come in, and it's very easy for this tiny bug to find their way in. And they, it could be somebody bringing a sprig from their home country. Maybe it's an immigrant and they wanted to bring a piece of their lime tree from Thailand or something. And, you know, they could, customs could miss it. It comes in, the big container ships. When did we first start seeing this here in the U.S.? Ooh. If I give you a date, it will be wrong. But the big sweep of it, really, um, after 2000, I'd say after 2005 or so, we really started to see it come in. But it was found in Miami prior to that. Homestead, I believe. And uh, do you mind just...